Hey, welcome back. These are a few uh, different kinds of ones. They, they just look a little different. They, they're they kind of quadratic-like is the terminology we use. Like this one right here. Um, they, they give you a hint. They say, let you be x to the one-third. So they're trying to say, think of this. Uh, uh, what, what if you had had um, something simple. Let me give you an example here. Um, we all could do um, the factorization for this, is what they're suggesting. This is easy. Uh, if you look at this factorization, okay, you go u and u, and 5 and 4, and you go negative and positive, and u equals 5 and negative 4. So what they're saying is if you look at this carefully, x to the two-thirds minus x to the one-third minus 20. What we can do here is factor this just like we did up there. But you're going to put x to the one-third and x to the one-third. x to the one-third times x to the one-third. You add the exponents, which gives you two-thirds. You do the same thing with 20 that we did in the previous example. You do a 5. You do a 4. Now a positive 4x to the one-third and a negative 5x to the one-third will give you a negative x to the one-third. So you got positive, negative, we have it. So x to the one-third is equal to 5, or x to the one-third equals negative 4. Now remember, I'm using the zero product property there, and I'm bringing stuff to the right. Now you got to finish it out, though. So there's one more step, and that is you cube both sides. So x to the one-third cubed is equal to 5 cubed, that means x is 5 cubed, 5 times 5 is 25, times 5 is 125, that's one of our solutions. The other is x equals negative 4 cubed, now 4 times 4 is 16, times 4 is 64, so that would be negative 64. Final answer here is 125 comma negative 64. And those are our solutions to this quadratic-like problem. Um, let's do um, one more here. Uh, um, you, you can get um, imaginary solutions, so be careful about those. Um, let's do this one right here. So um, we're going to factor this. Now, it's not obvious at first, but um, we're going to go x to the one-fourth and x to the one-fourth. Um, the 8, well, we got 4 and 2 uh, that are factors that add up to 6. So if you make both of these negative, that'll, that'll do the trick. So you get x to the 1 fourth minus 2 equals 0, or x to the 1 fourth minus 4 equals 0. So you just bring everything to the, the right. You raise both sides. Exponent of 4 to get rid of that 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 fractional exponent there. Don't let that um, trip you up there. This is a quarter equals four. You raise both sides to the fourth power. And I think we've got our answers here. So x equals 16 and x equals, well, four to the four. What is that? That is 16 times 16. I think we're looking at 256. Let's just double check it on our calculator. Um, so I'm pulling out the, the old TI-83 and we've got four to the fourth power 256 so we got two answers 16 and 256 hey thanks for watching